So um, our goal is to find about the relationship between pressure and volume of a gas. All right. And when you try to find that, that's something called Boyle's Law. Okay. So if you increase the pressure, so let's say we have a fixed quantity of gas, and I increase the pressure. Okay, pressure goes up. What's going to happen? I'm pretty sure the volume is going to go yeah. down. Pressure's up, volume down? Yeah. So that I, I drew it wrong. Yes, you did. Oh, okay. Now, I always think of it like a piston. If, if, you, if you shrink it down, you decrease the volume, and the pressure gets more inside that container. All right, so here, here's what he's saying, guys. If I have a piston right here, okay, and I have a, a plunger right here. Think of like a bike pump. Like a bike pump. Yeah, bikes. I like bikes. Bikes are Okay, good. and then if I do this in that plunger and I, and I push it down harder, because I, I apply more force, right. the same gas down here and the same gas down here, this, of course, will have less volume, higher pressure. Correct. Okay, this is called Boyle's Law. Okay, now, you know, Mr. Sam's, this summer I had a kind of interesting experience. I, I rode my bike up a mountain. As you do often. As I do often, yes. I know. But while I was doing that, I conducted an experiment. Oh. So I think we should watch the Mr. Bergen Bike Up the Mountain video. Okay. And see how this lo applies to what we've been learning. Okay. Okay. Here I am at the base of Mount Evans. Now, if you look back up here, you're going to see a bunch of mountains. And we're actually, I'm about actually to climb that mountain here. But I have myself uh, a bag of Pringles Minis. And I want you to notice the uh, uh, the bag's kind of fruffly like this, or you can push it down. It feels a little full probably compared to what you're probably used to if you live at sea level. But um, think of the gas particles striking this all of a sudden. But we're about to uh, climb on our bicycles the highest paved road in America, which is the Mount Evans Road. And we're going to see what this bag looks like. And it's actually, actually an application of Boyle's Law. So we'll see you there in a few minutes or hours. Rolling. And we're on the highest paved road in North America. Pikes Peak Highway riding up. Uh, Mr. Creek, what, what altitude do you think we're at? Uh, we're right around 12,000 12, feet. 12,000 feet. So, now look at my Pringles potato chip bag. Now, compared to what we saw, it's totally full. Boils a lot of action. How's that Boyle's Law? Well, you see the gas inside, the pressure is the same. I'm breathing hard. The pressure is the same, but the external pressure at this high altitude is lower, and therefore the molecules... Here, I'll try and show this. Okay, let's pause here. The molecules that are hitting this, well, there's fewer of them because they're at a higher altitude. But the molecules on the inside, the air molecules on the inside, they're the same number. Therefore, the bag expands. Now, we're going up there to the top of, of Mount Evans, 14,200 feet, I think. When we get there, I anticipate that this bag will be either fuller or possibly it will explode in my backpack and all the mess. Let's see it. I'm at the top of Mount Evans. It's a windy day. And I got my back pocket a bag of sprinkles minis. Look at how big that is. Totally full. I think it looks here because of the oil's law. Not very much air up here even though it's windy. It's going to cause the potato chip bag to expand. I should eat some. Okay, you looked really tired. You actually had to get off your bike to talk to us there for a while. Well, you know, <laughs> there's a problem. There's not as much oxygen up there right. either. And that's and because there's lower pressure up there. That's right. And the lower pressure at the top of the mountain made the bag of chips get a greater volume. So that's pressure correct. was down, volume was up. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, so that is Boyle's Law. This is actually, folks, what you do, copy this down. This is the graph of Boyle's Law. So pressure up and the volume goes down. This is the graph, right? This is said to be inverse related. And the way we know that is if you plot a graph of volume versus one over the pressure, you, a you get a line. straight line. And that is the equation. Now, actually, the equation is this, the meaning of the graphs. Pressure is inversely proportional to volume, which we said already. All right, if one variable doubles, the other one is half. So a lot of people want to say up and down. That's right. true, but the key thing, students, to understand is that if you double one variable, the other one will cut in half. Now, Mr. Sams, what would happen if I were to triple the pressure? The other one would go down by a third. Yeah, so it's like it's the inverse, the reciprocal. Guys. Or not by a third, to a third. Of to a third, actually, original yeah, ones. yeah. That's correct. Now, there's actually a chemical, or not a chemical equation, but an equation is P1V1 equals P2V2. Right? Okay, so P is probably pressure. Yeah. V mm -hmm. is probably volume. Yeah. What do those little ones and twos mean? 
Well, the first one is the initial condition. So when I was at the bottom of the mountain, I could have measured the pressure and the volume. Okay. And then at the top of the mountain, the pressure would be different, okay. and therefore the volume would be different. So okay. it's just like the initial conditions. One would be at the bottom of the mountain, and two would be at the top of the so mountain. So initial and final, you're implying that a change has taken place to that gas. That's exactly right. Okay. Okay.